Hello everyone, Sigmalator here. Welcome back to Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. It's so good to see you. I've set up a few terminals with information I think you'll find interesting. Take a look. Hey Glyph. Welcome back, Shadow Broker. What's this? <laughs> That's the old broker's VI assistant. It's actually been helpful with rebuilding the network. Please let me know if I can organize anything else for you, Shadow Broker. It also thinks anyone in the room is the broker. I'll play around with the settings later. My manual is ready whenever you have a moment. Alright, let's see what we got here. Investment opportunities. Warning signal! A pirate fleet is massing on the fringes of the terminal system in preparation for a raid of outlying alliance colonies. Send a tip off to Admiral Hackett about the upcoming invasion. Done! <coughs> Bureaucracy in action. The CERTA Foundation can't start tests on a promising new antibiotic because of accidentally misfiled paperwork. Use the contacts to help them cut through the red tape so they can begin clinical trials. Done! Smear campaign. A corrupt politician is trying to levy heavy taxes on all earth manufactured goods coming into his system in exchange for kickbacks from local businesses. Ruin the politician's reputation with a smear campaign so that his proposal doesn't pass. Done. <clears throat> Just reward. Eclipse mercenaries have secretly set up a red sand pr uh, production facility on the planet, <clears throat> whatever that is. Tip off the planetary authorities about the facility in exchange for half of the credits seized during their raid. Done. What's this? I'll take that. Survey information. Uh, location of a planet rich with ESO available for purchase. Yep. You know what? I will just take all of these. more of those I can get the better Ooh. let's get this out of the way while we're here perfect oh yeah I can upgrade my armor Blood armor, terminus armor, Cerberus, Collector, Inferno. Hmm. Let's see what else, other options we have available. Hmm, I like that one. Let's have that. Alright, that looks good. Advanced trainers will allow you to reach your ability point now. Dossiers. I uh, don't really need to bother with that lot. Alright, Liara. How goes things? How are you doing, Liara? I'm a bit overwhelmed, to be honest. The Shadow Broker had more resources than you can imagine. Here, come on over. He had top-level access to the Turian and Asari governments. And more than one Solarian Dalatros traded intel. And now it's ours. You're not gonna turn into a recluse with creepy information on everyone in the galaxy, are you? I can understand the temptation. I've got all the secrets of the galaxy at my fingertips. Give me ten minutes and I could start a war. But I've got a purpose. Helping you stop the Reapers. That will keep me honest. Good to know. Relatively speaking. 
If you're in over your head, we could just crash this thing and walk away. That's just it. In a way, I feel like I belong here. Working on my own, I was always hunting for leads. With the Shadow Broker's resources, it's about organizing, cataloging. I've got everything, Shepard. This is a dream job. Although, the location could be better. Have you found anything useful yet? The Shadow Broker knew about the Reapers. Perhaps that's why he offered to help prove Saren's guilt to the Council. He didn't want Saren to succeed. He also knew that the Collectors were Protheans, repurposed to be Harbinger's puppets. There's even some data on the Protheans. I think he knew what was coming and was looking for a way to survive. Why was he still looking at Protheans? They gave us the warning and the conduit at Ilos, but we've used those. The Shadow Broker seemed to think there was more out there. Perhaps the Protheans had other plans. Or maybe he was just grasping at anything that offered some hope. How'd you know what the Shadow Broker was? I didn't. I had no idea what to expect when we finally found him. But I researched pre-space flight cultures during some of my Prothean studies. I know a bit about the Yogg. There's more on the terminals if you want to look. They're a fascinating culture, and a terrifying one. How's Farron doing? As well as you'd expect, after two years of intermittent torture. You gonna be okay? I don't know. He wants to work, so I'm letting him help. Maybe it takes his mind off it. So, you and Farron? No. He's been through a traumatic ordeal. He's emotionally fragile and needs to heal. He's very grateful to me for saving him. But it would be irresponsible of me to take advantage of that. It was good talking with you, Liara. Let me know if you need anything. I think what I need right now is a friend. I can't leave for too long, but spending all my time on this ship. Maybe next time you come by, I could come up to the Normandy. That sounds great. Why don't you come up now? Okay, thanks. I'll be right there. Just give me a minute. Yeah. Sure, Joker would like to see you. <laughs> Ooh, bring out the right, the wine. Hey, my fish are alive. Thanks, Kelly. Did you enjoy the tour? Yes, it's a beautiful ship. And I ran into Joker. He seemed happy to see me. Although, he did ask if I'd embraced eternity lately. <clears throat> of course he did. <laughs> I also spoke with Dr. Chalkwaz. I'm glad she's doing well. I brought you something. It took some digging, but I recovered your tags. I thought I'd never see these again. They changed hands more than once. Do you remember Admiral Hackett? He gave them to me so I could return them to you. He sends his best. And hopes you're okay. So, how are you doing, Shepard? I mean, really. Not what you tell your squad to keep morale up. I'm okay. Really. It's been rough. But we'll get it done. You've certainly made a good start. Even if those idiots on the Council won't admit it. There wouldn't be a man, woman, or child left on Horizon. If not for you. I saved some of them. Not enough. And the Collectors will keep hitting colonies until I stop them. So you'll stop them. And here I thought it'd be difficult. You'll get the job done. You always do. I just don't know what comes next. So tell me what you want. What are you fighting for? A chance to give Miss Vaz Normandy a homeworld? Tally is important to me. she's been awestruck since you brought her onto the Normandy two years ago. You could have mentioned that at the time. And save you the fun of finding out on your own? 
I hope the two of you find some happiness, Shepard. I should get back to my base, but thanks for inviting me up, Shepard. Aww. Best friendos. Come back soon. So yeah, again, the canon romance really is Shepard and Liara, and they they leave things like that in scattered scattered throughout the whole thing. Even even if you're not romancing Liara, they they try to make it as obvious as possible that Liara is the one you're supposed to be with. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Cheers, Kelly. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Samara would like to see you in observation on the crew deck. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. All right, that's Samara's loyalty mission now open. What's this? Uh, Detective Anya. Greetings, Commander. I'm not completely sure this will get to you, but thanks again for helping me deal with Samara. The Eclipse Mercs have gotten real quiet around here, and my superiors have backed off too. No idea if the two are related, but hopefully the next time I meet a Jessica, I can give her the respect she deserves. I still can't believe I worked a case with one of them. You're a lucky human. If I find any more data on her targets, I'll pass it along. Thanks, Detective Anyana. Ah, oh, that's nice. Uh, let's go see Joker, see if he has any comments. He usually does. It's Joker after all. He always has comments. Commander. Eh. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last. Well, I always liked Tally, so let's just move on. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. I assume everything is going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute. That's it for now. See you, Commander. All right, no comments. That's unusual for you, Joker. All right, they were pretty much done with the rest of the crew now, so let's go talk with Samara. And check it. Uh, no, we won't check it with Thane yet because we still need to do his uh, mission. Uh, this side, I think. Yep. I am glad you came. I must ask for your help. That is not easy for me. It's all right. Just tell me what you need. When we met on Ilium, I told you about a very dangerous person I was pursuing. Using the information you obtained, I have located her. She's been going by the name Morinth. I would like to apprehend her before she disappears again. How important is this? Killing her has been my focus for 400 years. It is the most important thing in my life, and the reason I became a Justicar. Where is she? Omega, a nightclub called Afterlife, which seems a perfect place for her to hunt. Didn't you say you'd pick up her trail after our mission? I know where she is right now. In a month, she may be gone. This is the best opportunity I've ever had. Tell me about her. She is an Ardot Yakshi. It is a term from a dead Asari dialect. It means demon of the night winds, but that is mythology. She is simply a very dangerous woman who kills without mercy. So is an Ardot Yakshi a special kind of murderer? Morinth suffers a rare genetic disorder. When she mates with you, there is no gentle melding of nervous systems. She overpowers yours, burns it out, hemorrhages your brain, you end up a mindless shell, and soon after, you are dead. Why isn't this ever mentioned in Asari literature or art? When we were primitive, there was much fascination with Ardat Yakshi. Some cultures worshipped them as gods of destruction. Now the Asari have a place in the galaxy, and they don't wish this defect to be widely known. As far as I know, only three exist today. Two chose a life of seclusion. The third ran. Morinth. She ran, and I am sworn to kill her. Can't she abstain? Each encounter gives her strength. The effect is narcotic. The more she does it, the more she needs to do it. She will never stop. 
she can't. So you hunt down these Asari just because they're born with a genetic condition? It manifests with maturity. When one is diagnosed, she is offered the chance to live in seclusion and comfort. If she refuses, it shows her addiction to the ecstasy she gets from killing her mates. There is no redemption for such a person. This is definitely worthy of your full attention. She confuses her victims, twists their feelings. They will do anything for her favor. We need to stop her. Thank you, Commander. There are no words to express what this means to me. There is one thing more. This creature, this monster. She is my daughter. You said this is genetic. How many children do you have? Three. And three Ardat Yakshi are in existence today. It is as it sounds. Marinth was always the wild one. She was happy and free, but selfish. It can't be easy to talk about. My daughter's condition is my fault, and my redemption lies in killing her. Do not pity me. Simply understand my situation. How did all this happen? I spent my youth on the move, adventuring. I killed people, mated with them, or just danced the night away. I learned so much, experienced so much, and then my matron days came. I could finally sit back, bask, and enjoy my family. But in one moment, it was all taken away. It sounds terrible. I sat in a med lab while a nearsighted doctor droned at me, and I learned that nothing was as I thought it would be. I gave up all that I possessed. I owe nothing, claim nothing. All my knowledge will die with me. Now my purpose is to destroy my own children. Those moments change you. And I've hundreds of years left to live with that. I say too much. Forgive me. Help me find my long lost daughter. And kill her. We'll go find Morinth. Damn. All right. We have our missions. They're now done with Ilium. We can go back to Liara's base, new base though, to collect our ill-gotten gains. I'm going to do some scanning and then we shall carry on. Alright, that's this nebula 100% done. Uh, where's the way out? Mass relay. Okay, it's down here. All right. Behind me. Area of uh, Ilium is not quite 100% done yet, but today's crashing ship, we've still got a lot to do. Where was uh, Admiral Hackett's mission? Because we need to remember that as well. Ah, down here. Right, need to remember that one. But now, let's go to the Citadel and get Thane's mission done. As soon as the, all the loyalty missions are out of the way, the happier I'll be, really. Oh, I can skip that. We've seen that enough times now. Take Thane and Tally. To get your to increase your health, I think. And 
There we go. Terry, you're good. Oh, God damn it! I keep forgetting to change my assault rifle. Nice. Alright, we're doing good. You think Citadel security would be the tightest in the galaxy? I see no fewer than 14 fatal flaws a skilled assassin could exploit. Eight of them existed when I was here ten years ago. <laughs> Hey, Bailey. Yes? My associate is trying to find his son. We think a local criminal may have hired him. That should be easy. We don't see many drell here. There we go. One of my men reported a drell recently. And he was talking to Mouse. Interesting. Mouse? Ah, petty criminal. Probably not the guy who hired your boy, but a messenger. He's a former duct rat. Runs errands for anyone who'll pay. What was it you called, Mouse? A duct rat. It's a local slang for the poor kids who grow up in the station. When they're small, they tend to play in the ventilation ducts where adults can't get to them. Aren't the ducts dangerous? Every couple of months, we pull a little body out of them. Lacerated by fan blades. Broken by a deadfall, suffocated by vacuum exposure. Those are just the ones we know about. More just disappear. Maybe they get sucked into space. Maybe they fall into the protein vats the keepers run. The mouse survived long enough that he can't fit in the ducts anymore. He was one of the smarter ones, or the luckier ones. What sort of trouble has Mouse been getting himself into? Odd jobs for shifty people. Duct rats take whatever is available to get by. Data running, fencing stolen goods, selling illegal VI personalities. Actually, he was selling one of you. Me? Yeah, when you erased a file, it would say I delete data like you on the way to real errors. That's pretty extreme, Shepard. Laugh it up, Tally. Buggy, though. It <laughs> crashed every half hour. The error message was about how the galaxy was at stake and you should fix the problem yourself. I've heard enough. Mouse is usually upstairs outside the Dark Star. He works out of a public comm terminal. You should pick up a copy of the Shepard VI when you talk to him. He sounds like your boy's running with the wrong crowd. Yes, I agree. If Mouse can't get you in touch with your son directly, he'll know who can. I'll help you if you need it. You don't know us, Captain. Why are you going so far to help us? I've worked Zakara for two years. Every day kids turn to crime because they've got no other choice, because their parents don't care. You're trying to save yours. He faces a dark path. We better hurry then. You didn't tell him that Kolyat plans to assassinate someone. He's a cop. He tried to stop Kolyat and one of them could end up dead. I don't want that. Yes, of course. Thank you, Shepard. Right, so any more things to buy before we head uh carry on? Nope. Ah, I wonder if those uh, if those Asari are here yet, because I found the forged documents for them. Do you have anything new? You have to help nope. me. I need to make something nice. It's for a date. Hmm. No, nope, okay, they're not here. isn't down here it must be upstairs I'm commander Shepard and this is my favorite store on the Citadel that's a lie all the stores have that I'm commander Shepard 
And this is my favorite store on the Citadel. <laughs> Alright. No one's down here. So where are the Osasari? Have I just missed the opportunity to do that side quest? Hmm. Maybe I have. Oh well. I also missed uh, the thing on Ilium. With the Quarian Slave. Oh, never mind. Let's go find Mouse then. You have anything else? And this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Nope. Alrighty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. I can get you two cases by the end of the day. You mouse? What are you? Oh shit! Krios. I thought you retired. Commander Shepard? I, I thought you died. What do you want with me? Be still, mouse. You can change your pants in a moment. <laughs> How do you know Thane? Krios. He didn't. If he didn't say nothing, I ain't either. When we heard the name, I didn't think it could be the same mouse. He was a contact on the Citadel when I was active. He and some other children would gather information on my targets. You put children in danger to spy for you? Children, the poor. My people's word for their kind is Dralafa, the ignored. They're everywhere, see everything. Yet they are never seen. You gave another Drell instructions for an assassination. Who's the target? I, I don't know. I didn't ask. Because the people I work for? They can make me disappear. I'd like to help you, Krios. You always done right by us, but I ain't gonna die for you. Look, you know Thane. He wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. Do it for him. I want to. He was always nice to us. But these people ain't nice, Krios. Nobody's gonna know you talk to us. Mouse, I swear that you won't be named. All right, all right. He came with that hollow you took of me. Said he wanted a job. I ran through your old contacts to see who might give him a shot. The guy who offered was Elias Kellum. One other thing. That Shepard VI you're selling? Oh shit, you heard- Look, you were dead. It was totally legal to make a VI of you. Give me a copy, we'll call it even. What? I mean, sure, yeah, absolutely. Sorry about the whole- Just so you know, there's three Volas who are patching it all the time. Tell me about Kellum. Human. Moved to the Citadel about ten years ago. He was little people when you were here, Krios. He got big after the Geth attack. Lots of the big guys from before got cacked, all in them big fancy apartments up on the Presidium. Now he runs the rackets on the lower end of the ward. Shin Akiba. He's seriously bad news. You did good, Mouse. Yeah. Hope I live long enough to pat myself on the back. Kellum will never know. I hope not. I'm out of here, Krios. Next time you're in town, just don't bring the family. That couldn't have been easy. Mouse knew more about my life than Kolyat ever did. He smiles up at me, broken teeth and scabby knees. Bare feet black. A dead in future looking up at me, worshipping the petty gifts I offer. I was the only good thing he had back then. But I left him as I left Kolyat. Mouse said you had a hollow of him. Yes. A foolish bit of sentimentality. I can perfectly recall every moment I spent with Mouse. He pulls at my arm. Smiles. He wants to know that I'll remember him. That anyone will remember him. I take the hollow. He smiles at himself in miniature on my palm. Then a frown crinkles his brow. He pats my pockets, checking for other hollows. Where's your son, Krios, he asks. Don't blame yourself. If I don't, who will? We must carry the weight of our decisions, Shepard. You, of all people, know this. Let's head back to Bailey. That's very true. Alright, let's head back to Bailey.
Uh, there is no one else around here, is there? No? Okay, they're definitely not here. Hmm. Yes? Can we talk about my associate's son? You talked to Mouse? Did you get the name of the guy he's working with? Elias Kellum. Kellum? Shit. Uh, look, this is awkward. Kellum and I have a, an agreement. He doesn't cause too much trouble and buys tickets to the CSEC charity ball from me. In return, I ignore him. He pays you off. You were eager to help us before. What about now? Is it too inconvenient? I said I'd help. It's just there'll be repercussions if I don't handle it right. He and I give each other space. It keeps the peace. I'll get some of my people to bring him in and set him up in a private room. You can interrogate him yourself. I'll stay out of sight. And if I'm lucky, Kellum will believe that I had nothing to do with it. Bring him in. We might not have much time. I'll make it happen. Wait here. <laughs> uh, playing the system. We've got Kellum. Tell Bailey we're ready. He'll expect me to get him out of this. Not today, I think. Captain, his lawyer's here. Bet Elias has his VI set to page him if CSEC gets within 10 meters. I'll stall him. Get in there and work fast. Hey. We should question him together. Keep the pressure on. Thoughts on how we approach it? Uh, right. How do we do this? Convince him that we'll put a bullet in his head if he doesn't talk. Once he's scared, he'll cooperate. Very well. I'll pretend we're ready to kill him. We can't push too hard, though. We need the information more than we need a corpse. This one always throws me. Out of these restraints, Bailey. Pretty funny bringing me down here like this. The hell are you two? Bailey has nothing to do with this. We just want a few answers. Off the record. Off the record in a C-Sec interrogation room? Sure. You hired an assassin. Who do you want dead? I want to see my advocate. You apparently haven't noticed we're not C-Sec. No deals, no due process, no advocate. And that's supposed to scare me. You two are in way over your heads. Bailey won't let you touch me. Bailey doesn't know you're here. But he will. After we're done. You're not the only one who can buy off CSEC, Kellum. What are you, fraud boy? His little apologist? What, kid? You gonna bore me into confessing? You ain't shit. Come on, hit me. I dare you. No, uh, didn't think you had the balls. Think carefully, Elias. I want to catch the assassin, not you. Why stick your neck out for him? You want me to confess to putting a contract on someone? You think I'm stupid? I get the name, I walk out. You never see me again. I got no reason to believe you. Elias, if we were after you, we'd have already put a bullet in your head. We're running out of time. Bailey can't stall his advocate for long. Are we done here? Because I got people to see. I'm done being ah! patient. Give me a name or I'll cut your balls off and sell them to a Krogan. All right, all right, fucking quit it. <laughs> Ain't worth this. <laughs> Jordan Talib, Turian running for office on the Zakira Ward. He messes with legitimate businessmen. I'm gonna stop it. Where and when? His apartment, the 800 blocks. You better hurry. What's going on here? Get away from my client. You, you played me. I've enjoyed our chat, Elias. Thanks for your help. This isn't over. Nicely done. Wait, you got what you wanted. 
ratted me out. I guess you'll have something to think about while you're in here, huh? <laughs> I'll find out. And once I have a name, I'll... Elias, as your legal advocate, I advise you to shut the hell up. Where were you five minutes ago? Held up in traffic. <laughs> What's the story? Why'd Kellum hire the boy? Assassination. A Turian named Joram Talid. You know him? Joram? Yeah. You might have seen his posters around. He's promising to end organized crime on the ward. Thing is, his message is all mixed up in race politics. He's anti-human. Are things so bad that people can openly campaign as anti-human? Before the Battle of the Citadel, the alien population thought we were violent upstarts. Look what's happened since then. A human fleet guarding the station for months? C-Sec filled with humans? Anderson does what he can, but some people have lived on the station since before humans had starships. They see it as a coup. We need to stop this assassination. Can you get us to the 800 blocks? Sergeant, get a patrol car. These two need to get to the 800 blocks. Yes, sir. Let's move, people. There he is. How do you want to play this? Follow to lead on the maintenance catwalks. Tell me what he's doing. The Krogan bodyguard will make him easy to follow. Where will you be? The darkest corner with the best view. I am on Kira, Lord of Hunters. Grant that my hands be steady, my aim be true, and my feet swift. And should the worst come to pass, grant me forgiveness. He is so cool! <laughs> it's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. You can count on it. Show the humans they won't get their way. Ha! Thanks! Just remember, it's not all about the humans. They couldn't have gained this much power without the Council's support. Taking back our ward is only the first step. We must remove the cowards and appeasers on the Council. This doesn't stop here. I won't rest until the humans have been removed from power. Other Racist. Wait patiently for hundreds or thousands of years to earn an embassy to the humans? No! I'm on him, Thane. He's talking to some voters. Understood. You're in position? Yes. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. I don't appreciate racism. In any capacity. Have you got him? Looks like he's talking to another voter. Any sign of call yet? No. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. No problem so far. Oops, so far so good. Where do I? I've got you, you little shit. Okay, run away, you pussy. Where 
Jersey. There he is. Talking to the bartender. Looks like a shakedown. Target in sight. Ah, oh, there he is. No sign of trouble. Where is he now? Yes, sir. He's meeting a couple of mercenaries. Looks like the same group his bodyguard comes from. Maybe he saw Kolyat in here somewhere. Also a possibility. There are obstructions ahead. I'll try to go around. Don't lose him. You're running for office. Lots of people watch you. Yes, sir. I see him. I don't. I'm with the Citadel Health and Safety. We've had vermin reports in storage areas around here. What? You can't be serious. How did you get in here? If I didn't have authorization, how did I get in? You see any other doors? There's the keeper. Never mind. Just, just go on through, okay? Thanks. Yeah, yeah. Just don't let my boss see you. Yeah, there he is. So far. Nice to wait there. Ah, you must be Colliat. C-Sec, put the gun down, son. Get out of my way. I'm walking out. He's coming with me. They'll have snipers outside. I don't need help. What the hell? Khalid, get the hell out of here. Yeah, yeah, I will. Take the boy into custody. You son of a bitch! Your father doesn't have much time left, Paul, yet. He's trying to make up for his mistakes. What? So you came to get my forgiveness? So you can die in peace or something? I came to grant you peace. You're angry because I wasn't there when your mother died. You weren't there when she was alive. Why should you be there when she died? Your mother. They killed her to get to me. It was my fault. What? After her body was given to the deep, I went to find them. The trigger men, the ringleaders. I hurt them, eventually killed them. When I went back to see you, you were older. I should have stayed with you. I guess it's too bad for me you waited so long, huh? yet I've taken many bad things out of the world. You are the only good thing I ever added to it. This isn't a conversation you should have in front of strangers. Boys, take Koliat and his father back to the precinct. Give them a room and as much time as they need. I'm surprised you're letting him do that. You think he's the only man who ever screwed up raising a son? I have to get back to the precinct. Come on, I'll give you a lift. No. Captain the Cradle. 
I'm pretty sure that's not how the saying goes, but we'll take it. They've been in there a while. Yeah, the kid's been through a lot. I ran some searches in the CSAC archive. About ten years back, a bunch of real bad people were killed. Like someone was cleaning house. The prime suspect was a drill. We never caught him. Ten years is a long time. Whoever was responsible for that probably doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, I guess you're right about that. How'd it go? Our problems are... They aren't something I can fix with a few words. We'll keep talking, see what happens. Your boy shot some people. No one I feel sympathy for, but there it is. I watched those guys shaking down businesses and threatening humans. But he can't just get away with it. The kid wants to make a difference. Give him community service. Community service for attempted murder? What jury would agree to that? None that I've seen. This would need to stay out of the judiciary. Strictly within CSEC. Interesting. I'll think about it. Thank you, Captain. Excellent. Right, one more scout around for these Asari. Ah! They're here! I can't believe these humans. No fly lists? What did they turn this place into? I overheard you talking. Having a problem? It's a private matter. Give me a chance. I might be able to help. I don't see why you would. Since your kind gained a seat on the council, they've taken over CSEC customs. There are hundreds of new security checks and travel restrictions. We've been flagged as a potential risk for geth infiltration. They won't let us board a ship back to Asari space. Why would they consider you a risk? You're obviously not Geth. I don't know. They wouldn't tell us. We got on a list somewhere for some reason, and they won't tell us anything because it's classified. Who won't let you board a ship? I don't know who made the decision. Some pencil pusher at the shuttle port told us. The one outside the C-Sec station? I'll see if I can get it sorted out. I'm not holding my breath. So? Good news. I found you some new transit IDs. You... How did you get those? If you don't want them, I could just take them back. No, no, I'll take them. With thanks. We should get ready to leave. There should be another ship heading to Thessia tomorrow. There we go. I knew they were around here somewhere. All right. Uh, we're pretty much done here now, I think. Where's the thing? There it is. Um, let's go see Anderson, actually. Don't know if he has anything new to say, but let's have a look. Something I can do for you, Shepard? Caden Olenko was on Horizon. He said he was looking into Cerberus. I know. I approved the mission. We had to find out if they were behind the missing colonists. I couldn't tell anyone without compromising the investigation. I'm sorry. I thought we were friends. Never expected you to go behind my back. We didn't know about you at the time. And I wouldn't have told you if I did. What if the elusive man was manipulating you? Lying to you? The report actually confirmed your story. I still don't trust Cerberus. But they were right about the collectors abducting the colonists. Unfortunately, Alanko didn't find anything to convince the Council that the Reapers are behind this. Or even that they exist. How have the last couple of years treated you? Just gonna be the same? Serving on the Council isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels... Knowing the truth about... But I know how important it is. Yeah. So I keep trying. I better go. My door is always open. Alright. That's pretty much it. Uh, let's head back to the Normandy. 
I'll uh, go have a chat with Thane, see how he's doing now. You right there, Kelly? No messages. Fair enough. Hey, Thane, how you doing? Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk? Certainly. If you don't mind my saying, you don't really seem like an assassin. You've spent too much time fighting thugs who think custom-painted armor makes them professionals. The Hanar trained my body for this role since I was six years old. You've been killing since you were six? Of course not. I didn't make my first kill until I was twelve. They were training me. I was not to be used and thrown away. I was an investment. You were a child, not an investment. I've given you the wrong idea. They valued me, yes, as a resource, but also as a person. They regretted their need for me. The Hanar? Excessively polite, worship the Protheans? They don't seem the type who train assassins. Every species trains assassins. The Hanar are only unusual in that they need other species to do the killing for them. They have a strong grip and natural toxins, but... Have you ever seen one move quickly outside of water? Or fire a gun? Why did your parents agree to this? The agreement was made under the Compact. It was an honor for our family. The Compact? We live on the Hanar homeworld because they rescued us, some of us, from extinction. We owe them our lives. That is the Compact. What exactly are the terms of the Compact? There are many things the Hanar can't do, even with mechanical aid. They ask Drell to assist them. Why was your race going extinct? Overpopulation. That must sound trite to you. Humans developed mass effect drive before the problem became acute. Our homeworld, Rakana, had few resources. We hadn't even developed fusion power when the soil began to fail from overuse and pollution. The Hanar found us a century ago. They sent hundreds of ships, evacuated thousands of us. Billions more had to be left behind. What's the state of Rakana now? Do you read your philosophers? A man named Thomas Hobbes. When all the world is overcharged with inhabitants, and the last remedy of all is war, which provideth for every man by victory or death. As Rakana died around them, my people slaughtered each other for mouthfuls of water, crumbs of food. Damn. But you don't kill for the Hanar anymore. You're freelance. What changed? I was asleep for a long time, yes. I paid no attention to what my body was asked to do, but then... A laser dot trembles on the skull. One finger twig, he dies. Then, the smell of spice on the spring wind. Sunset-covered eyes defiant in the scope. The laser dances away. My apologies. Drell slip into memory so easily. Was that one of your assassinations? Uh, yes. Perhaps we can discuss it later. I've wasted too much of your time. Alrighty. Uh, yeah. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Good luck out there, Shepard. And there we go. So now we just need to do Samara's loyalty mission and recruit the last member of the team. And, well, we've got a lot of uh, side quests still to do before we can do that. So for now, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later. This has been Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.